sound right up in my alley. There's a ghost that's in this apartment, and, you know, we don't really know what she wants or, and whatnot, and she starts killing people, and there's adventure and intrigue and mystery, all in the um, preview. Now, let me tell you what it's really about. Yes, it is about a ghost. But no, it doesn't have the mystery, it doesn't have intrigue, and it's definitely not, it's just a killer ghost, basically. Kind of like Mama, except less, um, less like the hor most horrible ghost story ever. Number one, we don't really know why she's killing everybody. She kills everybody, you know, it's pointless. Plus, the ending really sucks. If you end up watching the movie, you end up thinking why it even got an international award. Like, those movies are good. They're really good, and they have really good endings. You know? But, this one was not really that good. It wasn't even as good as good, like, just a plain movie because first of all the acting was horrible the the bit the girl who owned the apartment didn't like she didn't do anything like she was like oh there's someone you know I got you know thrown into a wall by my ghost by a ghost that lives in my apartment da, da, da. it was just dumb and um so I did read this in F. This is a horrible, horrible movie. Horrible. And the eighth movie I watched was The Messenger. And this one was a really good movie. Although I didn't see the rape scene. Which I think there is a rape scene in that one. Um, and it's about a girl who obviously did Joan of Arc. It's about the Joan of Arc. And I love Joan of Arc. I think... Her character is really inspiring and stuff like that. But she kind of has this view of that she's fighting for God. And she's a very religious person. But then she also is a messenger. So she's, you know, messaging. She's kind of like giving a message to, you know, another state. And it is a really great, um, great movie. So I read that in A. The next one I saw in theaters, and this is Thor 2, the second Thor movie. I absolutely love this movie. I put an A plus next to it. And this movie is about Thor coming back to the United States to visit his loved one. Um, obviously, the girl, I forgot her name. She ends up getting this virus, kind of evil virus that is connected to her. And he has to bring him her to his hometown and stuff. Locus also um, joins the fight. His brother. It's really interesting. I thought it would be like really like oh yeah he's gonna like totally like screw his brother over. But it's like totally uh, um, made me think of the movie that it was different and stuff. It was a really really good movie. Like. It totally, like, surprised me, and I loved it even more. Number 10 is Anatomy. Um, in Anatomy, um, I rated this a C. And Anatomy is a really, um, it's a good, it's a movie about these people who are medical students in, this college, it takes place in the college, and this guy basically takes some students and um, puts a drug in their system so they, like, pass out, but they're still alive in that state of alive. They're, like, paralyzed or something. I think it's par they're paralyzed, and um, he ends up cutting them and showing off the their body parts and stuff like nerves or muscle or other places so um he does that with most of the um people and he actually displays it um it, this one is kind of like a horror movie but it's kind of like hostile except hostile you don't actually see the works of art whereas anatomy you definitely
definitely see this work of art and the main protagonist and stuff. There is a second one, and so I'm really interested to see what that all about. Number 11 is Hannibal, and Hannibal was the most disturbing movie ever, and I rated this one AB minus. This Hannibal was pretty good. Um, it was about this guy. It's kind of after the Silence of the Lamb. I believe it's the sequel to that, and it's a and the girl is still trying to find him and capture him and stuff after he escaped from prison. And so when she does find him, he um, he ends up killing a whole lot of people, including um, and including some stuff that help her, some people that help her on finding him. And it's a really intriguing um, story, and it's creepy as heck because. There's one scene where he's, um, he, this, um, is, this, this is my favorite, probably the worst disturbing type, um, part of the whole movie is when he's, he takes, um, this guy's, basically he takes this guy's head off, like not head off, but the piece of the head, like kind of. Um, the piece of the skull off, and there's his brain inside, and it's alive, obviously. And he's um, he puts a little bit of the brain in the frontal lobe, um, which is right here, and he puts that, and he fries it, you know, and the guy eats it, and he's like, oh, that's it's so good, and it's like, oh my god, it's so disturbing, and it's gross, and. You know, he's not, he doesn't even know he's eating his own brain. It's really nasty. Um, I watched that one on TV, I believe. Um, number 13 is, I rented this movie called The Conjuring. Um, and I wanted to see, because someone said it was a really good movie. This is also a ghost movie, and another one that I was, oh, eh, it was okay. It was a C, um, and it was basically about this possessed items um and it was kind of a true story sort of thing about this um these family and um and, you know they go and they're like ghost hunters and so they go to this house and it's really creepy and it's like the most disturbing thing ever but it's really not because I've heard of this story before and not I heard of the actual story, the actual events and stuff, but I've actually heard of a story like that, that, you know, possession and stuff like that. I think um, that happens a lot in movies and stuff, and it's way too much, um, and it's not, like, you know, weird or creepy, but it's, like, just, yeah, it's pretty good, though. The next movie I saw, I saw in theaters with my mom, and it is called Catching Fire. And this one was a really, really um, good movie. Um, it's about, it's the second, it's the sequel to The Hunger Games, and it's kind of about the rebellion against um, the government and stuff, and a little bit more about, you know, what happens um, you know, what, what happens about the rebellion and stuff like that. Um, it's a pretty, um, it's a pretty good movie. Um, it's a really good movie and I rated that a B. Although there was a cliffhanger in it and I do not like cliffhangers at all, but whatever. That happens, I guess. Um, but I really did like the movie, and um, that's it. And that's all I have for you. So have a great day. Bye. Oh.